This is an introduction to the Starlift Mega Lander model rocket. As you can see, it's a big rocket. It's a 2.6 inch diameter tube, um, and it has in the back end a 29 millimeter engine mount. So this flies on mid-power engines, um, Fs and Gs particularly. Uh, what makes it unique is that it comes down in two parts and it is actually a lander. So these are the legs right here and they're gonna flip out as soon as I pull the nose off. So let me kind of hold it down a little bit and watch this leg flip out. See as it comes out, the leg flips out, comes down in two pieces. This will be one piece. I call this the penetrator and it has an 18 inch par plastic parachute on it. And then there's another parachute, a 24 inch plastic parachute in here that also comes out. As you can see, it's got articulating legs. Articulating means that it, it, it pops out in two ways. First, you have the tip that comes out, and then the leg comes down and locks into position. All three legs come out, rocket comes down and lands upright. My table's not big enough for me to drop it, but it'll land upright. And what's neat about it is that the legs lock in position once they're down. Now, the little tip it doesn't lock, but it's out far enough to where it will stay out. And then the, the big leg, um, it locks into position. This uh, rocket took me about a year to develop. Let me just get this one out of the way here and show you some of the cool parts about it. Um, as I said before, um, it's a 2.6 inch diameter tube and it's actually a BT-80, so it's very lightweight and you want a lightweight rocket because there's a lot of stress on those legs, and if it comes down too hard, it could break. So I made everything as light as possible so that there's minimum stress on the rocket, and it will work time and time again. That's what we hope. Um, 2.6 inch tube, um, everything is laser cut um, into the tube, so um, there's really no marking that you do on the tube. Um, comes with a plastic nose cone, uh, polystyrene, which is really easy to paint. Um, and then it comes with a, a lot of uh, laser cut plywood parts. And this is just one of the sheets and there's four of these sheets plus the fins and the centering rings um, that are all laser cut. So um, everything works really nice and goes together really nice. Um, also in this kit is this huge um, vinyl decal. Now this is real vinyl. Um, the nice thing about vinyl is that it stretches. Um, so as you put decals around like here on the nose cone, we can stretch them around and it will actually conform to the nose cone where typically you wouldn't put decals on a nose cone like this. There's a lot of decals here. and You're gonna love that. Um, Basically, um, I had to invest in a brand new printer to print these along with a vinyl cutter to cut them out because you can, they're just crack and peel. They'll just peel right off. Just like that. Um, and the cool thing about this, this ink is that it's, um, it won't wash off with water or, or most solvents. It's actually fused into the vinyl. It, it takes a high temperature printer to fuse the ink into the vinyl, which is really cool and expensive. Um, and it's really big. So um, I'm sure you wanna see what this rocket looks like in flight. And I'm attaching a video on the back end of this to, to, so you can see what it looks like. Um, and there's also some more videos on the Apogee website um, so you can get a taste of what this rocket's like. Everybody that's seen it has loved it. You're gonna love it too. Um, be sure to tell your friends about this rocket kit because they're going to want one too. Five, four, three, two.